Hi, I just want to show you this new 3D star template that I got from DoCrafts um, and how to actually make it. I had a few inquiries at my demo on Saturday that didn't quite get and understand how to actually do it. The first thing I'd like to show you though are these little templates that I made here. Now this one that you see here is the original size that you get on your template sheet and all I have done is reduced my template down 81%, 61% and 41%. That will just enable me to have three different size stars and obviously the original size as well. Okay, so I'm working on the original size here this time and all I'm going to do is just draw around the very outside. I have found my own quickest way of doing it when I'm demonstrating and this is the way that I would do it. If you're doing it for the first time just copy all the lines, do it in pencil and then you can rub it out afterwards. But if it's your, obviously a your second or third time, just try doing it my way and it will actually speed up your star making. So all I'm doing there is just taking a fine pen, just so you can see my outlines, and I'm just going all the way around the outside of the shape. Now the next thing that I want to mark are the little pieces that come in. So you've got a little V-fold that comes down and back up to the top. All I'm going to do is just mark those five sections just with a little dot, Okay, so I've got five little stars. There's one, two, three, four, and five. Now the next thing and last thing that I want to do, and you don't have to do this if you want a pointy star that points upwards with no folds on the inside, is just to mark my little star shape in the center. Okay, we don't need to mark the very center because obviously we don't need that. So I'm going to keep my template to one side. Now you can see there, if I hold that up, that's all the markings that I've got on mine. Okay, so I've cut one out earlier on, and I've just done it with the new Paper Mania Christmas papers. Okay, so what the first thing that I need to do, and this is the side with no markings on, all my markings are on this side here where you can see just there. The first thing I want to do is just take a bone folder and very lightly just crease over from every section. Now what I'm doing is lining up the edges and creasing it over. Now these are all going to be folded exactly the same way. Now I know there's a few people that have... Um, I've read about over the last day or so and we're having a few difficulties doing it the way that it tells you on the sheet so I'm just hoping that this helps them out a little bit as well ok so all we've done is folded that on every crease going one way and all I'm going to do is just hold that and I'm just going to crease it down the opposite way as well there we go OK, so I've got creases going in both directions. So you can see there I've got quite a lot of flexibility on those folds. Now the last thing that I want to do is just score, if I can find a scoring tool, which I can't at the moment. Um, no, I haven't got one. I'll just use a pokey tool. I won't use one of those either, because I haven't got one. Never mind. What I will do is just fold and crease in between those star shapes at the edges there, so this is a little interior star and what I'm actually doing is pushing my finger underneath and just pinching those sections together so just move my finger around each time that I want to make a crease and I'm just going to go around that little interior star shape now we did say on um, the Dewcrafts forum earlier on when we were talking about it that it will take me about 30 seconds to do one of these and that's exactly what it does ok, so then the next thing that I want to do is to cut down. So where I've cut down and marked, we're going to cut and miss one. Cut, miss one. Cut and miss one. Cut the next one, miss that one, and then just cut the final two. So those needs to create the little flaps. Now I haven't folded my flaps, but what I'm going to do is just put my thumb at one side, down to the fold, and just crease it over. Now these lines, the reason why I haven't scored them is they come down to this section here. So it's just as easy just to fold those sections down and just give them a fold. Okay, so very quickly, this is how I'm going to do mine. Okay. So again, it's just popping your finger on and just give it a little crease all the way around. Now you know that your star shape's got to come to a point, so that's easy enough to remember just there. Okay, so that gives us this basic star shape. Now all I'm going to do is just take some glue, just demolish my shed because I've just forgot about, I need some glue there. 
Okay, so what I'm going to do is just take a little bit of adhesive and again, on the top one, is just use a little bit of sticky glue. I'm going to glue one and miss one, glue one and miss one, glue one and miss one all the way around. That just means that when we start to put the star together, all we're going to do is overlap one section onto your next section. And what I would do if I wasn't in such a hurry is to actually glue these over and then stick them with a safety pin or a little mini peg just onto the top. And this will create a little star shape. Okay, so it's just one section straight on top of the other. Okay, try and keep it in front of the camera then you can actually see what I'm doing. Just trying to rush doing it a little bit. There we go. Okay, so that gives us a little star shape. Now what we need to do with the section that's in the middle is just push that bit down and then we can just recrease those little sections there and just push them in while we're working them. Okay, and then all I do is just pop it in the middle, give it a little squish and just push it together and that's your completed star shape. How simple is that? Another nice little thing that you could do is to turn it over fill this hollow in the inside with a few little smarties or a few little sweets, jelly beans and then just use this as a template to trace the bottom section and insert a cover onto the top of there. Okay, happy crafting, bye!